Cultural Perspectives on FOMO Is it universal? Fear of missing out or FOMO is often regarded as a modern issue exacerbated by the rise of social media and the increasing pressure to stay connected and relevant. However, while FOMO may seem like a phenomenon particularly associated with Western cultures, it is important to consider whether it is truly a universal experience. Does FOMO manifest the same way across different cultures, or do certain societies and traditions view it differently? FOMO in Western individualism. In Western cultures, particularly in the United States and Europe, FOMO is deeply intertwined with the values of individualism, competition, and achievement. These societies often prioritize personal success, material gain, and social status. The constant comparison with others, especially through social media, feeds into FOMO as people feel pressured to keep up with the latest trends, accomplishments, and experiences. The fear of falling behind, socially or professionally, creates a culture where missing out on any opportunity can feel like a significant setback. This individualistic mindset places a strong emphasis on personal fulfillment and public recognition. Social media, in particular, becomes a platform where achievements, vacations, and social gatherings are broadcasted, amplifying the anxiety of not participating in similar experiences. For many, the fear of being left out is directly tied to the fear of losing relevance or missing key moments that are seen as stepping stones to personal success. Collectivism and community-oriented cultures on the other hand, many Eastern cultures, such as those in parts of Asia, Africa, and Latin America, are more collectivist in nature. These societies place greater value on community, family, and the collective good rather than individual achievement. In these cultures, FOMO may still exist, but it takes on a different form. Rather than fearing personal exclusion, the concern is often about maintaining harmony within the group, fulfilling societal or family obligations, and upholding traditions. For example, in countries like Japan or China, missing out on social or family events might be more anxiety-inducing than missing a personal achievement. There is a cultural expectation to be present for important family gatherings, ceremonies, and societal rituals as participation reinforces one's connection to the larger community. However, this doesn't necessarily carry the same competitive edge as FOMO in Western cultures, where the fear of missing out is more about personal success and social comparison. Being a Chinese native, I've seen major changes in the country towards capitalism, and the competition has become the norm. Comparison is pervasive. Technology and the global spread of FOMO. With the rise of globalization and the widespread use of technology, FOMO has started to transcend cultural boundaries. Social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, WeChat, and TikTok have become ubiquitous across the world, creating new spaces for comparison and social anxiety in even the most collectivist cultures. This has led to a blending of Western FOMO with local cultural norms as individuals in non-Western societies begin to experience the pressure to be visible, relevant, and active online. For example, in parts of Africa and South America, where smartphones and social media have become increasingly common, younger generations are beginning to experience FOMO in ways that previous generations did not. They see friends and influencers showcasing lives filled with adventure, luxury, and social success, creating new forms of pressure to achieve a similar lifestyle. In this sense, FOMO is becoming a more universal experience, although the cultural context may still shape how it is felt and expressed. Cultural Attitudes Toward Missing Out While FOMO is often associated with negative emotions, anxiety, inadequacy, 
and fear it's important to recognize that not all cultures view missing out in the same way. In some cultures, there is a greater acceptance of not participating in every event or experience, and the idea of constantly being busy is not as highly valued. For example, in Scandinavian countries, there is a cultural emphasis on legum, a Swedish word that roughly translates to just the right amount. This philosophy encourages balance, moderation, and contentment with what one has, rather than striving to do or have everything. Similarly, many indigenous cultures around the world have a slower, more intentional approach to life, where being present in the moment is valued over constantly seeking new experiences. In these cultures, missing out on something is not necessarily seen as a loss, but rather as a natural part of life's rhythm. There is a deep appreciation for contentment, and FOMO is less likely to take root in societies where community, nature, and tradition are held in high regard. Is FOMO truly universal? While FOMO has undoubtedly become more widespread in recent years due to globalization and the digital age, it is not experienced in the same way across all cultures. In highly individualistic societies, FOMO is closely linked to personal achievement and social comparison. In more collectivist cultures, the fear of missing out is often related to social and familial obligations with a stronger emphasis on maintaining group harmony. However, as technology continues to blur cultural boundaries, FOMO is becoming increasingly universal, especially among younger generations who are more connected to global trends and social media. Yet, despite its global spread, cultural attitudes toward FOMO and the way it is experienced still vary widely, depending on a society's values, traditions, and collective mindset. Conclusion FOMO, while often associated with Western individualism, is not confined to any one culture. It is shaped by cultural values, societal expectations, and the global influence of technology. As the world becomes more interconnected, the experience of FOMO is becoming more widespread, yet it is important to remember that not all cultures view missing out as a negative. By understanding the cultural perspectives on FOMO, we can gain a broader, more nuanced understanding of this phenomenon and find ways to navigate it in a healthy and balanced way. is from Defomo, stunning music, stunning nature, fighting anxiety. You can find it in my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.